They say bigger is not necessarily better, but a lot of dog lovers will surely disagree in the case of these massive dog breeds. These massive dogs make fantastic family companions, from fluffy Newfoundlands to sleek Great Danes, yet despite their large size, not every breed requires a lot of area to run around. With huge size comes great protection, which means these large dogs are incredible home guardians while also being happy and calm. Dogs are bred in a wide variety of sizes, shapes, colors, personalities, and purposes. Humans have honed different canines in different geographic places over ages to fulfill certain tasks, ranging from hunter to guardian, herder to friend. For several of these dog breeds, size has played an important role in their quest for perfection. Whether it was to hunt larger or quicker animals, guard a home with greater intimidation, or simply to have a bigger cuddle companion. Hey everyone, welcome to Dog Joy. In today's video, we're counting down the top biggest dog breeds. Keep watching until the end and prepare to be blown away by these gentle giants. Number six, Leon Burger. If you think that the Leon Burger looks like a cross between a Newfoundland and a Saint Bernard, then you're right, because that's the origin of this breed. Heinrich Essig of Leonberg, Germany, crossed a Newfoundland with a St. Bernard for four generations before incorporating a Pyrenean mountain dog into the mix in the mid-1840s. The Leonberger is the result of multiple generations of breeding. This breed can grow up to 25 and 31 inches tall and weigh up to 170 pounds. Regardless of their size, they are just enormous family dogs. Though its primary role is a companion animal, the breed excels in a variety of tasks, including water to rescue, tracking, and herding. The Leon Burger is likely to excel in any activity that demands power and intelligence. Between the ages of 8 and 12, Leon Burger puppies require four meals every 24 hours. Two smaller meals may be preferred by some adult Leon Burgers. Number five, Saint Bernard. The Saint Bernard, famous for carrying brandy, is a rescue dog that originated in the Swiss Alps and Northern Italy. The monks of the St. Bernard Hospice are recognized for training dogs for rescue and contributing to the development of the breed as we know it today. These dogs can grow between 26 and 30 inches tall and weigh between 120 and 180 pounds. St. Bernards are treated as family dogs nowadays, despite their origins as rescue dogs to seek and save travelers. They are known for their gentleness, love, friendliness, and ability to work well with children. They can also make good friends with kittens. St. Bernard dogs are considered to be some of the world's most hungry eaters. This canine breed can eat up to 36 pounds of food every day, and that's just the quantity they can eat on their own. As a result, they are one of the world's most overweight dog breeds, and their high-fat diet can lead to a range of health issues. A daily diet of four to eight cups of food divided into two or three meals is recommended by the St. Bernard Club. The amount of food you need to feed your dog depends on its size, activity level, and condition, and the quality of food you serve them. Number four, Newfoundland. The Newfoundland is a working dog from Newfoundland, as the name suggests. The Newfie, unlike many larger breeds, was not bred to be a guard dog. Rather, it was developed with the purpose of supporting fishermen. The large, powerful dogs are capable of pulling carts, hauling nets and lines from boats, and most importantly, retrieving anything that falls overboard, even people. The breed is a superb water dog and strong swimmer, and these enormous, gentle-natured dogs have been credited with many rescues of humans out at sea. Newfoundland Dogs stand 26 to 28 inches tall on average and can weigh up to 150 pounds. Their thick double coat, which makes them warm even in cold waters, makes them appear much larger. Given their large size, Newfoundland dogs consume a surprisingly small quantity of food. Two cups of kibble three times a day is a typical meal for a Newfoundland puppy. Adult Newfoundland dogs eat only a fraction of that. For daily meals, two to three cups of kibble twice a day is typical. Number three, Irish Wolfhound. The Irish Wolfhound was trained to be a site-based hunter and was used to hunt wolves in the past. The Irish Wolfhound, which evolved from warhounds into a hunting and guarding dog, is an old breed that may have been carried to Ireland as early as 7000 BC. Despite their origins as hunting dogs, today's dogs are calm, reserved, clever and easygoing. 
The Irish Wolfhound is the tallest dog, even taller than the Great Dane. The minimum height for males can be 32 inches and 30 inches for females according to the breed's standards. That is only the bare minimum. Males can reach 34 to 35 inches in height and weigh up to 140 pounds. When maturing, Irish Wolfhound puppies may require 3 to 4 meals each day. Bloating is more common in large breeds. Feeding Irish Wolfhound dogs a single or two large meals per day might drive them to eat quickly, gulping in air, which can lead to bloat. There are a slew of other opinions about what causes bloating, but everyone seems to agree that having numerous small meals throughout the day is the healthiest way. When puppies and young adult dogs are growing, they consume more calories than adult dogs. A young Irish wolfhound dog weighing 100 pounds, for example, requires roughly 2,450 calories per day. Number 2. English Mastiff the breed's original purpose included blood games such as baiting bears, bulls and lions. Today they are just gentle giants putting aside the brave and fearless parts of the breed's temperament in favour of the mellow, even-tempered and loyal sides. They are great family pets because they are so calm. The English Mastiff is one of the largest dog breeds according to the American Kennel Club. These canines can reach a height of 30 inches and weigh up to 230 pounds. While a Great Dane currently has the title of tallest dog and English Mastiff once claimed the title of largest dog. The heaviest dog was an English Mastiff named Akama Zorba, who weighed a stunning 343 pounds. The sheer size of the English Mastiff should tell you right away that they need a large amount of food on a regular basis. Because they are genetically predisposed to have a large build and height, this is no ordinary dog. To sustain his growth and lifestyle, at least six to eight cups of dry food will need to end up in his dog bowl. Free feeding should be avoided despite their strong metabolism. They may consume a lot and burn a lot of calories in a short amount of time, but if they see food, they may lose control. To avoid bloating, stick to the recommended feeding amount and divided into two meals. Number one, Great Dane. The American Kennel Club recognizes the Great Dane as the largest dog breed, at least in terms of height. The Great Dane is a German breed and its German name, Deutsche Dogge, translates to German Mastiff. A Great Dane breed actually came from a crossbreed of English Mastiffs and Irish Wolfhounds. They are not technically the biggest canines, weighing between 100 and 120 pounds, but they are the tallest. The normal Great Dane reaches 28 to 30 inches tall, but they can grow to be much higher. A Great Dane will consume 8 to 10 cups of food every day. When he's going through a growth spurt, this is the most usual scenario. In most cases, he could even consume more. A Great Dane will consume approximately 6 to 10 cups of food per day as he matures and grows. Great Danes are also used as therapy dogs because of their gentle nature. They're also excellent watchdogs. When the situation requires it, a Great Dane can become quite violent. This joyful giant breed can also be a wonderful friend for children. These large dogs, on the other hand, trade lifespan for size, living only six to eight years. A Great Dane named Zeus held the world record for tallest dog at 44 inches. Unfortunately, Zeus only lived for just five years. Buying or adopting a dog of any size is a huge decision. However, with so many puppies and older dogs in need of homes, breeders and shelters are eager to assist you in finding the ideal dog for your family. Always take the time to consider if a rescue is possible. The American Kennel Club recommends that new owners evaluate the training time required for a well-behaved companion before choosing a large dog breed, which is especially crucial for large dog breeds that can grow to weigh as much as an adult person. It's also important to remember that bigger dogs often require more to care for. So plan ahead for extra food, larger beds and nutritional supplements to keep a bigger dog's bones healthy because they're carrying a lot of weight after all. So which one of these incredible giants would you like to own? Perhaps you own one now or in the past. Please share your experience in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, subscribe and share with all your friends. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.